from LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Cerullo. And tonight we have you covered on all things Big Blue Nation, including cats in the NBA and a one-on-one -on -one interview with one Wildcat who's SEC championship bound. And it's been just about a week since Ryan Howard heard her name called in the first, uh, being first, mm -hmm. in the WNBA draft, making history and representing the University of Kentucky on that stage. We have a behind-the-scenes look back at that special night. So that's going to be tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. We welcome you to the WNBA Draft 2022 as we welcome you inside Spring Studios, finally back in person for the first time since 2019 for the WNBA. We can't wait to see the impact you'll have on our league. With that, it's time for the 2022 WNBA Draft to officially begin. Atlanta Dream, you are on the clock. So this is a team now that is looking to rebuild. There is a certain player out of that big three that Atlanta wanted. To, it would seem all indications look like it is going to be for them, Ryan Howard. Well, you know what? We might as well get it to the commissioner, Kathy Engelberg, back at the podium. With the first pick in the 2022 WNBA Draft, the Atlanta Dream select Ryan Howard from the University of Kentucky. teammates like they obviously knew what the next level was and I was like hey I'm here for y'all like whatever y'all need me to do I'll do it and I was just there to compete and you know just work with them um, and you know play with them it's like my last year in college so a, a goal is really rookie of the year but I want to be a part of a winning team that's it. Wow, what a special moment. Yeah, All the hard work pays off. Sure. You, you know, you, she could have, a lot of people thought she was yeah. going to leave here after a yeah, couple of years. Right? And so to she see her stick it out all four and then to be the number one pick was incredible. <laughs> and to shut up BB in there at the end yeah, and say, like we that. did it. I, I wonder <laughs> if it's sunk in for her yet. Um, and actually remember the dream pushed for a pretty aggressive trade just days before the draft in order to move up and have that number one selection. That's just how bad they wanted Ryan Howard. And since then, Howard has said she only had one meeting with the dream before draft night. How's that for a one and done? <laughs> they talked during the women's final four in Minneapolis. Howard called their meeting, quote, beneficial. Here's more on how that conversation went. They're asking me like how I felt about a rebuild, and, you know, how I lead, and you know what I'd be prepared to come in, and, you know, have an impact on the team. Which I said yes to all, and I'm very, you know, excited to step up to the challenge that they've put in front of me. That challenge officially started yesterday. The Dream had their first team practice since the WNBA draft. So, of course, it was Ryan Howard's first real taste of professional basketball. Here's what draft pick number one thought about practice number one. I'm glad the first practice was finally over, um, honestly. But, no, it was good. It was great to be here, and I love the energy of everybody. You know, you can tell everyone's super excited and just ready to get to work. And so I felt that, and everyone's like, all right, like, you got it. We're all new here. We're all learning something. Um, and so it was just great to, you know, get that first practice in. And, you know, see how the pace is going to be. There was a lot of running today. I'm like, okay, like, there's way more running than what we did in college. But uh, it was, you know, similar. At Kentucky, we were, you know, a running gun team as well. So I feel like I'll be able to you know, settle in with it pretty quick. Kind of sounds like a, a freshman <laughs> yeah. talking about, all right, now I'm in college right? and 
why is everybody running so hard and exactly. so much running and everything? Right? Just testing them out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Interesting, though, to hear her talk uh, about that meeting and mm -hmm. buying in for a rebuild with the dream. They've reached the finals three times in 2010, 2011, and 2013, but haven't been back there since then. So, of course, that's a goal for not only Howard, but the entire roster this year. It's fun. I, I'm super excited to see like what we can do. Um, everyone is, you know, super excited to be here, super, you know, ready to be back on top. Like we all want to have a winning season or be a contender for a championship. So to be a part of that, like it's going to be something special. The Dreams preseason games start this Sunday at 3 o'clock and their first regular season game is scheduled for Saturday, May 7th at 8 p.m. on CBS. Keith, I am so excited to see her adjust to the professional game and just see where she goes. I, I like her goal of being Rookie of the Year. I think she could do it. I, I'm, I think we're not the only ones that are excited. I think <laughs> yep. there's a lot out there in BBN that wants to now turn on WNBA mm -hmm. games and watch her and see how successful she, she can be. Mm -hmm.